Hello and welcome to another video and today I'm playing some more online so I'll just be putting the highlights of each race sort of into the video like I did before because everyone seemed to really enjoy that so I hope you do enjoy this one. Alright then so we're here at Sepang for the first race. We're actually second on the grid. That actually looks like it'll be quite good for us. I think well, I've started on the front row every time I've done an online race today. I, I did try and record previously but there was people just ramming everyone off in the lobby so... I scrapped the recording. Anyway, lights and away we go. Trying to get a good start. We've got the lead as we go towards turn one. No, that Aprilia, the Aprilias get very good launches. Wow. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Massive crash into the first corner. I've got a penalty as well. It's a bit of a harsh penalty. Same penalty we picked up the historic challenges. It's a dodgy corner, that one. This guy's doing a wheelie, what's he doing? Okay. Help me out a bit anyway. Up the inside. He's left us room. Side by side. He's still hanging it in there. We've got to leave him room for through turn 12. Oh, bit of contact! Oh. He's got on that curb. Now we're up into the lead. He went in a bit hot into that corner, I must say. So we go down the straight then. We've got the lead now. Will he have an attack into this last corner? Yes, but he's crashed. He's crashed into us. I don't think I did anything wrong there. He was just trying for a move, a bit optimistic on the brakes, and just clipped me and fell off. 157.9, quite a few mistakes on that lap. The guy behind is catching us up, we've got to watch out. 57.5 for Victor Moores there behind us. Especially with this penalty, he could definitely have us. Oh, he's close right up to us now. All over the back of us. Can he have an attack anywhere? I don't think so. We're coming to the, towards the end of the lap very rapidly. I'll leave the door open here because you lose drive if you go for that inside line. Which I think he knows because he's not. It's so down the straight then we're trying to use everything we've got on the Honda. Obviously he's on a Suzuki so he's not got quite the top end that we have or the acceleration. But he's definitely got the cornering ability that we don't have. At the last corner then, trying to fire it out. Or towards the line, I think he's definitely going to have us. He's within half a second, for sure. So I think he's going to win the race, just because of the penalty. But we did manage to beat him on track, and that's what really matters, I suppose. Oh no, actually I did win. I managed to beat him because he had a penalty as well. Alright, so we actually did win that race then, ahead of Victor Moores in second. It was actually it was a good race, because I mean he had a lot more pace than I did. The other guys both did. I was not happy with that Honda, to be honest. It was not great. But we had a pace far above what anything anyone else had. We looked to our fours, to our threes, fastest that's for the other people. So we were all in the 157s, the rest of us. So then, so actually a wet race this time. We're a bit further down the order. Not sure, I think we're a fourth on the grid. It's just a tad unfortunate, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. We're still trying to make something of this. Lights and away we go. Go towards turn one. Oh, we've been hit by Valentino. Where's that Dobby going? Where's that Yamaha going? Where's everyone going? We've uh, actually took the lead here, which is uh, ridiculous to think about. So now we're now up into first place, just because no one realised that it was wet and you had to brake earlier, apparently. Except that one Aprilia, but I just got a better run than him. Not sure where he is. Oh, the guy behind me's just crashed, so... We're still in the lead, but now this, we've got a slightly bigger one. The bike is understeering like crazy through this section. Wow. Yeah, I'm not used to riding Ducatis that much. To be honest, I only really use them for these videos so when I'm riding online. Oh, we've been hit. Oh, and he's down. 
He's misjudged his breaking into Omega and he's crashed into us. The guy that was trying to beat us last time looked like it was going to be a showdown between the two of us. And he's crashed. And I think that Aprilia from the last race is up behind us as well. So I think us three are definitely the fastest three in the lobby. Uh, yeah, in the lobby. He's crashed again, unfortunately. And he's, he's left the lobby. He's had enough now. I'm sorry, but that was his fault. Nothing I could do. I was fully in front. He just hit me up the back. Into the Saxon curve. We've run a little bit hot into the Saxon curve. Are we going to lose the lead? He's having a look, bit of a wheelie from this Desmodici here as we go to the last corner. He's gone for it. Up the inside, I'm going to keep the power on around the outside. And he's done it. He's actually pulled it off. Fair play to him. He's mugged us on the last corner, so that's unfortunate. We led from the first corner to the last corner. But he's just done it. He just managed to outdrive us on an Aprilia as well. So that's uh, pretty impressive. So then we just lost out by one tenth of a second there. Very close finish between the two of us. Definitely uh, definitely enjoyable one. Very tense because I had them both right behind me for basically since the start of lap two. But then they battled a little bit, which gave me a little bit of a gap. And then obviously we had the contact with the Suzuki rider and then uh, the Aprilia just rode underneath us at the last corner. Beautiful move, really. Well done to him. Right, so here at Assen and I'm on pole this time, so that should bode well for us. I think both the people are gone now. Both the two guys that were running the same pace as me are both not in the lobby anymore, so... Could be interesting. Right, sound away we go. Down towards the first corner. We've been jumped by a Rossi. Oh, we've been hit by... We've been hit by someone pretending to be Zarko. Okay, this guy's brake checked me a bit. What is he doing? Rossi getting in Morbidelli's way. Oh, Marquez. Oh, oh, oh. That was unfortunate. Coming towards the line then. We actually dominated that one after that crash at the hairpin at Shrubben, uh, that with that Honda just diving me, crashing into me and just uh, hitting the Yamaha off, unfortunately. I think it was just one of those things that was the first lap, bit of a dive from him. I think maybe I turned in on him because I didn't really see him. Just unfortunate contact and unfortunately collected the Yamaha. But after that, I did not see another bike, so it was a pretty boring race for me. So then, in the end... We obviously, like I said, we won by 11 seconds. It absolutely destroyed the field there. But I think that's where we'll end the video. So I hope you have enjoyed this one. It's been a very successful session. A couple of wins there for us. So I hope you did enjoy that one. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you're all staying safe. I shall see you in the next one.